Uh, some other news today. A blue plaque unveiled to honour a woman described as the first modern lesbian has been heavily criticised after designers failed to include the word lesbian on the tribute. Anne Lister, who was a wealthy landowner, was the subject of much high society gossip in 19th century England for her relationships with other women. The plaque was put up on a Yorkshire church here, where she made illicit vows to a lover in 1834. The text describes her as gender non-conforming. We're joined now by the writer Julie Bindle. Julie, thanks very much for taking the time to speak to us. No, um, sure. Why aren't you happy with that wording? Well, I've been an out lesbian since the 1970s, and it used to be the dirtiest word ever. We would risk our lives, our jobs, uh, being thrown out of our families and all other kinds of atrocities for using the word. And we were encouraged to use terms such as gay. Um, and of course, increasingly, the pressure is to use the term queer, which belies the actual significance of how women face the double whammy of anti-lesbian bigotry and sexism, which is where it comes from. So to have a woman such as Anne Lister, who, whether she was the first modern lesbian or not, is besides the point. She was privileged enough with her wealth to be able to choose to live how she wanted to live. Um, but even so, it was an extremely brave step for her. She insisted upon the very first recorded civil partnership, which wasn't in any way legally binding, with her female partner, and lived openly and proudly as a lesbian. And to have now, 40 years after I came out, to the horrendous bigotry and violence handed out to women like me, to see that word being disappeared is beyond an insult. Do you think it's an intentional, though? And I, I would point out York Civic Trust's statement on this. Um, we've received many positive responses, but we are really sorry that there are also many people who feel let down by the plaque's wording. Uh, the phrase gender non-conforming was not intended to be read as a replacement for the word lesbian, and they're open to the idea of updating the plaque in near future. Do you think it was intentional, or is this, is this a mistake that has upset people? Well, intent is clearly a difficult thing to prove, but obviously the fact that... This is the first time that a woman has been, such as Anne Lister, has been honoured on a blue plaque because of the bravery of her living as a lesbian. And the committee chose, after what I understand to be three meetings to discuss terminology, that they chose to disappear the word lesbian and use a term such as gender non-conforming is outrageous and it is insulting to women such as myself and other lesbians that have been brave. You wouldn't see that analogy with... You, you would always have the word gay being used in a very proud fashion. And what does gender non-conforming mean? Every feminist on the planet, by definition, refuses to conform to gender because we're saying we don't want to actually act out the femininity imposed upon us. So it actually is meaningless when it comes to what a lesbian actually is who lives her life in an out and proud fashion and becomes a role model and a good positive example for all the young women who are now being bullied in university societies or, or online, who are told that they have to use the term queer or Just gay. on that, just on that, Julie, so, the, lots of um, people, the high profile people agreeing with what you're saying, Sister Outrider, the feminist author on Twitter, saying, unless you can say it loud and proud, you can't speak for lesbians. And she said serious side eye to every LGBT organization or campaign that's now shying away from the word lesbian. Yes. There seems to be this battle between uh, trans rights activists and part of the feminist movement, um, where yes. some claim that lesbians are, are being erased. That is a claim uh, made by some. What's going on here? Well, Lynn, it's absolutely right. And I, I want to distinguish the, the trans activists who are, in my view, misogynists from the general transgender population uh, who the trans activists don't speak for. There is a misogyny towards women. Lesbian has become a dirty word because we are blamed for standing up for our rights as females, as those that have particular uh, issues with sexism and misogyny that dictate our lives. It's not because we think biology is everything. Absolutely far from it. We want to rid the world of gender and be seen as human beings. But this is about misogyny. And it's no mistake that now terms such as you know, non-conforming or gay or queer are used for women, but that gay men can keep the term gay. And the, the whole problem, of course, began with the alphabet soup, the ever-growing LGBTQQI+. And, you know, there are people within that so-called Rainbow Coalition who've never faced a day's discrimination or prejudice in their lives. What on earth does questioning mean, which is one of the cues? What on earth does 
asexual mean or polyamorous mean when it comes to talking about the fact that our lives are in danger all over the planet when we come out as gay or lesbian. And so I'm one of those that will fight tooth and nail to reclaim this word and all the pride associated with it that we have actually fought okay. for since way back before and Lester probably. Okay, uh, Julie Bindle, thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you.